हेलो फ्रेंड्स राइट नाउ आई एम विथ अ डिग्नेटरी हुज प्रेजेंस गिवस अश्योरेंस टू क्रोज ऑफ फार्मर्स मिलियंस ऑफ फार्मर्स इन इंडिया ग्रो कॉटन एंड ओवर फोर थाउजेंड जिनिंग फैक्ट्रीज रनिंग इन इंडिया ओवर फाइव थाउजेंड स्पिनिंग मिल्स रनिंग इन इंडिया हु इज दैट पर्सन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू मिसिज अली रानी शी इज द सी एम डी ऑफ कॉटन कॉरपोरेशन ऑफ इंडिया मोस्ट popularly known as the CCI welcome thank you sadaka madam uh, the first question right now would be like how would you rate 2017 for the cotton and the textile industry uh, 2017 in my view was a mixed year okay. we did uh, start the year uh, with a very upbeat mood because uh, the area under cultivation has gauged or had grown uh, by a real that was a quantum jump there it had increased by around 12% so uh, there was a lot of uh, expectation that the cotton crop would also be uh, a record high right. in this cotton season uh unfortunately uh, some midway uh, the the bollworm infestation uh, predominantly in uh, maharashtra right and of course in telangana and andhra also uh, was a setback and uh, though the rates that uh, were being paid to the farmer was a little better than whatever msp which cci uh, cci was offering we still felt that uh, it was still felt that uh, uh, the farmer was uh, really affected by this uh, bollworm infest infestation as we know maharashtra is one of the major producers in fact the major producer of cotton and so right. uh, the reports that the government reports that the 30% of the land was uh, affected uh, was not a uh, very good news right. but luckily uh, the uh, arrivals are going strong and uh, we hope to finish this year with an an increased production at like 377 lakh bales and so um, probably the far farmer uh, uh, would not uh, uh, be receiving such a big set setback uh, but um, if but for this infestation uh, i think it would have been a, a splendid year for the farm right right so what uh, mrs ali rani said that 2017 before the beginning of the season in october 2017 things looked very rosy as far as the cotton crop was concerned people were expecting a crop of 38 to 40 million bales but uh, in november things changed there were late season rain there was ping ball infestation and now the crop figures have come down to 375 377 lakh bales but it is still a good figure yeah. compared to last year so the losses incurred by the farmers will be partially compensated by up, some yeah. gain in uh, uh, the quantum quantum right okay madam what are your views about 2018 how do you see things going ahead farmers mindset the industry cci yeah so the next year uh, i think uh, maybe i would expect that uh, uh, things would continue as as i said it's though there was this infestation Uh, probably uh, the, the indian farmer is uh, quite resilient so he may stick with the cro- uh, same uh, um, crop so okay. um, maybe a slight drop in area of cultivation but i think uh, the next year would be quite similar as far as demand is cons- uh, concerned i think the demand for cotton has been good so okay. that would probably uh, give a repetition of uh, this year and the next year also and hopefully without the infestation right so next year also the farmers are expected to stick with cotton they might continue to grow more cotton maybe similar to last year but uh, of course this ping ball worm problem has to be addressed and if it ha- as can the be addressed the governments have been very alert both right. all the state governments also and uh, the government has uh, the go- various government state governments have issued uh, advisories advise yeah. the farmers what exactly they should do right. to prevent such an infestation again so since all this uh, timely action has been taken 
uh, and the farmers, some of the state governments are also thinking of compensating the farmers for this. Right. So I think because of all this, the farmers would uh, stick with the crop. I don't think that people are going to, you know, desert this crop next year. Right. Uh, so I think uh, the same uh, situation will continue. Maybe additional area may not come under uh, cotton, right. but the same area might continue. Same area might continue. And if the ping volume issue is addressed, the yield will increase. Exactly. What is the importance of a supply chain? Now, CCI has always been a link between the farmer, the industry, the government. So, how how would you rate you know the importance of a supply chain for the CCI? Uh, as you say, is is, is uh, for the farmer. Uh, we are the risk mitigator. So we are present there, uh, uh, even at the very beginning of the season, we are present at each and every uh, uh, center where we expect the arrivals to be considerable so that the farmer can access uh, CCI uh, for uh, getting a reasonable rate uh, because the government uh, fixes the MSP uh, rate, the central government, and uh, we uh, administer it. And um, when we undertake MSP operations, we ensure that uh, every farmer who wishes to reach us has uh, has access to us. We ensure this. Um, we have a daily monitoring system and uh, we uh, ensure that uh, our uh, skilled persons, people who have uh, rapport with the farmers, they are all positioned and at all remote areas also. So I think CCI is, is, is plays a very important role for uh, mm, uh, mitigating the risks faced by the cotton farmers. And uh, this uh, as we have seen this year, uh, because of the presence of uh, CCI, right from day one of the cotton season, right. uh, the MSP operations uh, didn't have to continue for maybe more than one or one and a half months. Right. The rates automatically, when uh, when, when uh, the market saw that uh, CCI uh, was very uh, steady in its uh, uh, procurement, it, uh, the markets had to uh, also uh, come up raise the prices and so farmers started getting a uh, more uh, better price even from the trade right. so uh, we uh, ourselves right now uh, have stopped msp there's no need though our, our centers are still all working uh, are all alert for any requirement right now we are uh, there are not much offer for msp uh, but that doesn't mean that uh, CCI's responsibility ends because uh, CCI is also a kind of a stabilizer when it comes to supply supplies to the industry. So we are uh, uh, we offer our, our stocks to the industry throughout uh, the uh, the season and even after the season is, uh, I mean the procurement season ends, we still have stocks to offer. So we are also a kind of a um, you know stabilizer. In, as far as supplies are concerned right. and um, as you know uh, CCI has a reputation for the uh, quality of stock it offers we CCI um, product you know uh, the buyers have always uh, you know they have been very vocal about the uh, yeah. better quality they get from it enjoys uh, CCI. A lot of trust with yeah. the so, so consumers. We, yeah we we always uh, try to maintain that and uh, if the if the trade needs we can even uh, if depending upon the demand demand we also have uh, i think sufficient buffer we can even take it up if uh, more, more and more trade if they uh, uh, think that cci's role has to be enhanced we are there to do that such an important thing cci is acting like a, a generator like an army whenever there's an emergency cci is already ready to take action that that period may come or may not come is not important it is important that before the beginning of the season cci is ready it may be one lakh bill or it may be one million bills cci is always geared up there's an important thing and that uh, madam pointed out second thing it acts as a risk mitigator as far as farmers is concerned the farmer community is assured whenever the prices are below msp there is cci they can look up to will take care of them. Secondly, the industry, because the CCI is there, it it it, it values, you know, the, the quality cotton. It pays more for quality cotton so that the MSP operation may or may not come into the picture. Exactly. Madam, uh, what is the tool or, or technology or innovation which you think is necessary in the industry which you would advocate? Yes, there's a lot of uh, different technology can make. 
uh, especially for cotton farming in the country. Uh, you know, this year, we, the, the year started with the very sad news of uh, many of our farmers, uh, cotton farmers, uh, dying because of uh, uh, the, uh, the wrong method of uh, spraying medicines. Right. So for a, a, a little bit tech of technology might have uh, prevented these uh, uh, deaths. And it's not very complicated technology, it's not rocket science. Right. It's just that they had to have the, had the right equipment, wear the right kind of uh, gear, uh, masks, so. gear, and that kind of uh, uh, technology or I would say technical education would right. go a long way. So I am only talking about this one incident, but there are other things also where um, the farmer would be kind of better off if that is transferred. There are technology missions uh, which have been, you know, undertaken by the government in the past, and another one uh, is uh, in the offing also. So through these uh, technology missions, uh, the government, uh, the central government, is also trying to uh, re reach or make these technology um, accessible to the farmer. I think it will go a long way to for us to improve the yields, uh, which I think uh, in India is comparatively low right. currently. So that is yields, a challenge that the industry Yes, so right. the yields will have to improve. And also the risks like, uh, you know, the choice of the wrong uh, uh, insecticides, the choice of wrong uh, seeds, these kind of risks also will get mitigated if the um, this kind of technological uh, education is also uh, made accessible to the cotton farmers. This can be done by uh, a um, combination of efforts from all um, central governments and state governments and private institutions and even industry right. through workshops and uh, you know farmer reach programs. So these the efforts are being made in this direction so that uh, this kind of a comprehensive um, solution is provided to uh, improve the uh, stock of the cotton farmer in like he pointed out, the farmers may not need the tools, but they need the know-how or the techniques to do it. That can be a big help. Now, speaking about ginner, now CCI, we have seen in the last two or three years, have been able to market a lot of cotton online, but the ginning industry is not yet doing it. Do you see that can make uh, a difference to the ginning industry's, you know, current scenario where, where they are crying for disparity? Uh, I think, uh, electronics, has helped every sector. Right. There's no need why it, it, the cotton sector also should not be helped. What is the first and foremost takeaway for from? Uh,